up in my dead all day Know that I will get it someday Got me feeling like LeBron James Wasn't time but that's a song say What's going on YouTube? Super quick commentary for you from my last chest workout. Started out with a scoop fly FST7 style. Seven sets, 10 to 15 reps per set with only like 15 to 20 seconds per rest period. Uh, really trying to squeeze my pinkies together at the top to get a good chest contraction. From there I went to an incline bench and I did kind of a unique rep scheme here. As you can see I'm doing uh, a quarter of the rep, back down, and then a full rep. What that does is it allows me to keep a lot of tension on that upper chest. Upper chest is something that I really think could use some work uh, for me personally. Um, from there I dropped the weight. Yes, you can see I'm only using 45 pound dumbbells so not even that heavy, um, but I still got a really good pump and then went to a single arm press while one arm is pressing, the other arm is just slightly bent at the elbow to keep tension on that chest. And then I finished out with just a couple reps of just regular incline. From there, I went to a hammer strength chest press. I've learned or I've come to like this machine a lot lately um, because I really get a good contraction across the bottom of my chest, my lower, my lower pec. Um, and again, I went you know normal chest press to single reps and then I finished off with again, um, both arms at the same time. From there, I went to a standing cable fly. So just your normal standing cable fly on the free motion here. One thing I want to mention, guys, is when you do these, you want your forearm from your wrist to your elbow to match the angle of the cable. That's going to allow the chest to function as it's supposed to, which is adducting the humerus. And then from there, I just took a couple steps back and did a bent over fly to really squeeze out the middle of the chest. What's up, YouTube? I, uh, let me tell you guys something. I love this new car, but this thing is going to be the absolute death of me. If that's not the creepiest van I've ever seen in my life, I don't know what it is. But anyway, I, uh, that car is driving me crazy. No, you're good, man. Car is starting to drive me crazy. I uh, went down to my brokerage office to work this morning, and I uh, got some stuff done. Chatted with my my boss and bosses, I should say, and uh, got some good insight. But then I was supposed to take the car to get the windows tinted, and because I had an appointment, because at the dealer, I worked out a deal with the dealer um, that I should need to hang some stuff. So I'm actually I'll come back for it. Sorry. Uh, I worked out a deal with the dealer that they're gonna tint the windows for me for free. Um, well, it's really dark right there. But I had to take it to like the place that they use essentially to get them tinted. So I scheduled an appointment with them yesterday for one o'clock today, and the lady told me she's like, it only takes about an hour, hour and a half. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll drop it off. I will. Oh my god. I'll drop it off, I'll, you know, go walk to, there's like a Sprouts right by there that I can sit down, use the Wi-Fi, get some calls done, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I got there, and she's like, yeah, it won't be done till 4 o'clock. I'm like, wait a second. That's not going to work. So that just threw a wrench in my afternoon, but that is going to allow me to come home and eat lunch. So I'm going to cook, probably not going to cook anything, probably going to probably gonna have some pizza to be honest I'm gonna have some chicken too probably gonna have some pizza um, and I'm just gonna jump on some calls here which won't be too bad and then um, Teddy Teddy is leaving us today because Brittany and I are headed to the mountains tomorrow afternoon so one of her friends another friend of the couple whose dog Teddy is um, she's gonna take him for the remainder of the weekend so today's gonna be Teddy's last day with us I got to pick him up from daycare from <laughs> from daycare. I brought us lunch to daycare to him yesterday. That was pretty interesting. But uh, what else do I got going on? That's about it. Like I said, I'm kind of bummed about the window tint because that's like the last thing I need to get done for like the car to be just completely finished, paid for, all that stuff. So I kind of want to, I'm anxious to get that done. But it is what it is. I'll wait another week. I'm going to bring it in next Saturday and drop it off to him first thing in the morning. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm like their first person in the door um, and then we'll be good to go. But other than that, I think, uh, like I said, I'm just gonna hang out here. Um, I had a I had a video go live, so if you're watching this, go back, watch, check out the last video. Um, you guys can check out Teddy and stuff, and um, 
the craziness that was that was trying to get this car deal done. So other than that, I think that's about it. I'm gonna hang out for a little while and I will most likely check in with you guys at the gym. W Mr. Schlitt. Shout out to you, Mr. Schlitt. I know you're watching this video. You give me a shout out. One of your videos, man. Off Colorado here. So I'm giving you a shout out. So collab. JK, okay. What do you got? Is that a handful of Sour Patch? Keeper. What's up, YouTube? Uh, we're on our way to the gym right now, sipping on my Ghost Legend. I'm almost out. I have to run out to the store and get more, but we've got some Legend sticks that we're going to bring with us this weekend. We're heading to the mountains. It's supposed to snow, but it's right. Well, I just wanted to kind of explain something real quick. So you guys will probably see a clip of a kid who basically gave me a shout out in his YouTube channel. Um, kind of cool. His name is Yaman. He's an eighth grader at the school that I teach at. And that's so close to my face. And uh, he's, he started his own channel. And, you know, because a lot of the kids, they think it's kind of funny or they make fun of me for it. I don't really care. But he said he was watching my channel or whatever. And he basically started his own. Um, and he's actually doing pretty well with it. Um, but he asked me to give him a shout out. So, Yaman, if you're watching, I know you're watching because you're subscribed to the channel. This is your shout out, bud. You're killing it right now. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. And let's get it. I don't know about a collab, but I definitely, definitely need to step my camera game up because your camera is killing mine. So. What's going on YouTube? Coming back at you guys with some commentary here. This is a shoulder and tricep workout that I stole from Christian Guzman, one of his last episodes of Summer Shredding. Um, I did speed the videos up, so as you guys are seeing them here, the, like, the reps and things are a little sped up, so I didn't actually do my reps that fast. Um, again, just trying to save you guys some time here, but kind of a unique rep scheme. What you do is you basically do anywhere between like three, five, sometimes I did get up to eight reps, um, but basically you want to do a heavier weight for um, a few amount of reps, like I said, somewhere between like three, five, sometimes I did get up to eight, and then you immediately drop the weight to a lighter weight and do anywhere between 12 and 15 reps. I'm not sure what to call this rep scheme. It's not like an FST or anything like that. I I don't know, I really just thought of like kind of how you would like chase a shot of alcohol, like with a juice or a soda or something. You're kind of just chasing your heavy sets with your lighter sets and lighter weights, hence the clickbait in the title. Um, I didn't film the whole workout, um, but basically, like I said, it was just shoulders and tries. I did think I did three shoulder movements. I think I filmed two of them, which you guys are seeing right here, and two tricep movements, which again, you guys are seeing here. But right here is this, uh, I'm not sure what to call this bar. It's like a hammer grip or like a neutral grip. Usually I use it for lat pull downs, but you guys can see I do like five reps of a heavy weight and then immediately drop it to like 12 to 15 reps of a lighter weight. Again, right here, you're seeing an overhead dumbbell extension. Um, heavier weight, I think I had like an 80, maybe a 70 or an 80 pound dumbbell here. Um, and I think I got like five or six reps. Um, and then I had to dump it and then drop to the lighter weight again, like you guys are seeing here and just rep it out as best I can in order to get the best pump. But again, heavy weight, drop the weight, lightweight, same set, three to four sets per movement. Give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. I don't want to give anything away, but we just took a picture for a thumbnail in the beer section. So that is going to conclude today's vlog so I don't want to promise that I'm going to vlog later and then I always never do at night because I eat and it's oh my goodness gracious I wonder what those taste like but like I was saying that's going to conclude today's vlog uh, we're heading to the mountains tomorrow pending the snowstorm actually we're going no matter what so regardless so um, I'm going to bring my camera with me we're going to vlog all weekend we're going to have a good time and uh, yeah, that'll be it. So I'll check in with you guys tomorrow.